The Battle of Amber Aradam, was a battle fought on the northern front of what was known as the Second Italo-Abyssinian War. This battle consisted of attacks and counter-attacks by Italian forces under Marshal of Italy Pietro Badoglio and Ethiopian forces under Ras Mulugeta Yegazu. This battle was primarily fought in the area around Amber Aradam which included most of Endata province. Chapter 1, Background On 3 October 1935, General Emilio de Bono advanced into Ethiopia from Eritrea without a declaration of war. De Bono had a force of approximately 100,000 Italian soldiers, and 25,000 Eritrean soldiers to advance towards Addis Ababa. In December, after a brief period of inactivity and minor setbacks for the Italians, de Bono was replaced by Badoglio. Haile Selassie launched the Christmas offensive late in the year to test Badoglio. By mid-January 1936, Badoglio was ready to renew the Italian advance on the Ethiopian capital. Badoglio ultimately overwhelmed the armies of ill-armed and uncoordinated Ethiopian warriors with mustard gas, tankettes, and heavy artillery. Chapter 2, Prelude In early January 1936, the Ethiopian forces were in the hills overlooking the Italian positions and attacking them regularly. Italian dictator Benito Mussolini was impatient for an Italian offensive to get underway and for the Ethiopians to be swept from the field. The Ethiopians facing the Italians were in three groupings. In the center, near Abi Adi and along the Beals River in the Tembian, were Ras Kassa Haile Darge with approximately 40,000 men and Ras Soam Mangasha with about 30,000 men. On the Ethiopian right was Ras Mulugeta and his army of approximately 80,000 men in positions atop Amber Aradam. Rasimru Haile Selassie with approximately 40,000 men was on the Ethiopian left in the area around Sali Leha in Shire province. Badoglio had five army corps at his disposal. On his right, he had the Italian four corps and the Italian two corps facing Rasimru in the Shire. In the Italian centre was the Eritrean corps facing Ras Kassa and Ras Soam in the Tembian. Facing Ras Mulugeta atop Amber Aradam was the Italian I corps and the Italian III corps. Initially, Badoglio saw the destruction of Ras Mulugeta's army as his first priority. Mulugeta's force would have to be dislodged from its strong positions on Amber Aradam in order for the Italians to continue the advance towards Addis Ababa. But Ras Kassa and Ras Seum were exerting such pressure from the Tembian that Badoglio decided that he would have to deal with them first. If the Ethiopian center was successful, the I Corps and III Corps facing Mulugeta would be cut off from reinforcement and resupply. From 20 to 24 January, the first battle of Tembian was fought. The outcome of this battle was inconclusive. But the threat Ras Kassa posed to the I Corps and III Corps was neutralized. But on the 9th of February, Marshal Badoglio held a press conference at his headquarters and announced that the mighty obstacle that blocked the road to Addis Ababa was about to be liquidated. Badoglio was talking of course about Ras Mulugeta, and his army dug in atop Amber Aradam. The mountain was of two parts. There was a jagged ridge known to the Italians as the Herringbone and, on the extreme right, a flat-topped peak called the Priest's Hat. The land around the base of the mountain was known as the Endata. An article in a then-current issue of Time magazine indicated that the correspondents on the Italian side were provided with a high-powered telescope to watch the progress of the battle. While their forces were roughly equal, Badoglio held an overwhelming material advantage over Mulugeta. The Italians attacking Amber Aradam had more than 5,000 machine guns, 280 pieces of artillery, and 170 airplanes. By contrast, the Ethiopians had about 400 machine guns, 18 old field pieces of medium caliber, a small number of anti-aircraft guns, and no planes. Mulugeta's one advantage were the steep slopes of Amber Aradar. Chapter 3, Rattle at 8 a.m. on 10 February, Badoglio launched the Battle of Amber Aradam. Royal Italian Army and Black Shirts led the Italian advance. Native Ascaris, on which de Bono had leaned so heavily, formed the reserve. 
The Italian I Corps and Italian III Corps advanced across the Calamino Plain. By nightfall, both corps were established on the banks of the Megabat River. Badoglio was an artilleryman first and last. As a result, he fought a gunner's battle. His headquarters was also the Italian artillery observation post and about every five minutes scout planes of the Regia Aeronautica went out to circle the front. The planes identified the locations of Ethiopian forces for the Italian gunners. But the Ethiopians fighting for Ras Mulu Geta were regular drilled and uniformed troops. They had artillery too and knew how to use it. The Italian scout planes also mapped out the area around Amba Aradam, and discovered a weakness in Ras Mulu Geta's defenses. Air photographs showed that an attack from the plain of Hintalo to the south of Amba Aradam should be uncontested. As a result of this discovery, Badoglio planned to encircle Amba Aradam and attack Mulugeta from the rear after his forces linked up at Hintalo. On the 11th of February, the 4th the 3rd of January Blackshirt Division and the Posteria Alpine Division of the I Corps advanced from Megabat moving towards and around the west side of Amba Aradam. At the same time, the 3rd Corps moved towards and around the east side of Amba Aradam. Too late Ras Mulugeta realized the Italian plan to encircle his positions. On the afternoon of 12 February, a large Ethiopian force streamed down the western slopes of Amba Aradam and attacked the 3rd 21st April Blackshirt Division. The Blackshirts were held up, but the Posteria Alpine Division continued its advance towards Hintalo. The near continuous and persistent air and artillery bombardment of the Ethiopian positions had sapped the Ethiopians of much of their will to resist. On the evening of 14 February, the Italian pincers were about to snap shut. As the encircling forces reached specified positions, they formed up, regrouped, and positioned their artillery for the final assault. By the morning of 15 February, under cover of darkness and dense cloud, the Italians completed the encirclement of Amber Aradam. When daylight came and the clouds lifted, the Ethiopians were reinvigorated by the sight of their predicament. They swarmed down the western slopes of Amber Aradam towards Adi Kolo. The Ethiopians attacked the Italians at the western base of Amber Aradam again and again. But the Italian artillery and air power negated the fury of the Ethiopian assault. By darkness, the battle was practically over. Ras Mulugeta guessed that the Italians would take Amba Aradam by first attacking the priest's hat. He guessed wrong. The Italians attacked and secured the lightly held Ethiopian positions on the herringbone, which made defense of the priest's hat untenable. For political reasons, the 1st, 23rd March Blackshirt Division was given the honor of hoisting the Italian flag atop Amba Aradam. The Ethiopians had managed to create a break in the Italian line around Adi Kolo. Through this break the army of Ras Mulugeta made its escape as it fell back towards Amba Alagi and Sokota. Mulugeta planned to reassemble his forces around Amba Alagi. Chapter 4, Aftermath Badoglio unleashed the full power of the Italian air force on the fleeing army of Ras Mulugeta. For four consecutive days, 40 tons of mustard gas was dropped on the hapless fugitives. In addition to this, the local Azibu Gala were bribed by the Italians to attack the Ethiopian stragglers. Tadesa Mulugeta, Ras Mulugeta's son, was the Asmarch on Amba Aradam. He was killed in an action against a party of Gala, and his body was mutilated by them. When Ras Mulugeta received news of this outrage, he turned back and was killed by a strafing plane. Attacked from both above and from the ground, what was left of the army of Ras Mulugeta dissolved. Badoglio now turned his attention from the Ethiopian right back to the Ethiopian center and Ras Kassa, and Ras Soam. It was time to finish what had been started at the First Battle of Tembian. The result was the Second Battle of Tembian. Chapter 5 In Popular Culture the corrupted form Ambaradan entered Italian language with the meaning of messy, complex situation.